Taking a look at the Neoweather 3D Max on this Friday morning, you can see where our Friday uh, rain maker is. You can see the cloud cover and you can see the rain showers here stretching across um, Indiana through Michigan and even into western Ohio already picking up on rain and actually central Ohio. We'll show you a closer look to home here in a second. But other than that, things are relatively dry across the country. There are a few showers out here through California, but other than that, mostly uh, dry conditions, a little bit of light showers across the northern plains. But a closer look to home this morning shows the rain <clears throat> that is working its way in. You can see right now the line for the rain here is approaching into <clears throat> Mansfield, excuse me, through from Toledo through just west of Sandusky, Mansfield down through Zanesville to Athens, starting to pick up on some rain showers. So we've got this initial shot of rain here that's going to move through and then you can see what looks like a little gap behind that and then we've got a few more showers here coming through on the backside. so really it's not going to be an all-day rain but there are going to be several hours of rain as we push all this through and we'll show you here on future view in just a minute what you can expect but as far as quickly taking a look at temperatures this morning we are warm already we are in the 50s 52 at Akron 57 Cleveland 48 Sandusky 48 Mansfield 46 Finley 51 Ashtabula and uh, 42 in Wooster or 52 in Wooster I'm sorry Taking a look ahead here on our future view, and our future view model is actually doing a really good job of picking this up. As you can see here is wave one, our little break here, and then we've got wave two back here. So our future view model is almost exactly what the radar looks like, which is a good thing because it tells us exactly how this is going to move through. So here we go as we make our way towards um, 11 a.m. You can see the rain shower is pretty much stretching from Cleveland through Akron to Canton, all the way down into southern Ohio, and some rain showers from Toledo to Sandusky. But you can see things are starting to quiet down a little bit to the west. And then as we advance this here into the early afternoon, you can see western Ohio clears out. Still some rain showers hanging around here from Cleveland through Akron, um, Youngstown, Ashtabula. And then as we make our way into late afternoon, Still see some showers lingering around, but then you can see they push away. So I think most of this rain will definitely be out of here by late afternoon and into this evening. And then we'll keep an eye out for a few scattered showers. But I think for the most part, we've got this possibly right here coming through during the overnight. Could be a few showers. And then I think as we get Saturday started, which is here is 8 a.m., and then we clear things out. So I think we're going to set up for a pretty dry Saturday. Could be a few showers during the morning. And other than that, we stay dry here, as you can see. Ahead of our, here comes our next first wave of rain, looks like is going to move in um, later Monday. And I think it's really going to be raining as we make our way towards Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll show you that here in just a second. So we've all been talking about all this rain for next week. I want to give a little better explanation of it. <clears throat> now this is based off of our GFS forecast model. And you can see I'm starting this actually at uh, 8 a.m. on Monday. So you can see the rain is starting. Actually this is 11 a.m. starting to move in. I think most of this rain is going to hold off until later in the day on Monday. But we will start to increase the chances, definitely. So here we go as we make our way into Tuesday. Here is Tuesday at 8 a.m. You can see the showers around. Here is Tuesday afternoon. And you can here's why we're dealing with this. You can see the low pressure system here. And you've got this big cutoff low. And you've got rain circulating all around it, bringing us several rounds of showers. So that is why... We are going to be dealing with this. And then you can watch this as we make our way into Wednesday. We kind of see a few breaks at, at times from this thing. But we really start to see things dry out a little bit as we head into Thursday. Right here is Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon you're looking at here. Then we start to see a few more showers. But you can see that big system is starting to pull away finally by the end of next week. But like I said, here's your, your rain 
is definitely later Monday here, and then through Tuesday, and through Wednesday, and I think once we make our way towards Thursday, we're going to really start to see, as you can see right here, this system is finally pulling out. We're starting to see some drier weather working in. So that is why we're going to be dealing with all that rain for the beginning and middle part of next week. Taking a look at our almanac for the day on Thursday, 5634. Not a very warm day. Well below our averages of 63 and 44. The records are 87 and 27. Precipitation, we didn't pick up any during the day on Thursday. 6.3, or 6.33 is the sunrise. Sunset is at 8.19. Forecast for your Friday. Rain showers, 64. It won't be a terribly cool day. And as you can see, most places are already climbing to the 50s. A slight shower chance tonight as we showed you. So pretty much the window of rain here, you can see it. I think anywhere from 10 to 11 a.m. through 2, 3-ish. And I think we'll start to see things scatter around as we make our way towards 5 p.m. So we'll warm up and then we'll drop back into the 50s. Southeast winds become a little more westerly definitely during the afternoon too. Uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. And as we make our way into the next seven days here, isolated shower chance for Saturday. I think most of that's during the morning hours. We should start to see a little bit of sunshine. Um, Sunday looks very nice. We'll start to see clouds increase later in the day, but it will be a nice day. Now, these temperatures are going to vary because you're going to be near the lake shore. You're going to be in the um, uh, middle 50s, I think. Akron, Canton, you're def you could probably push 60 on both Saturday and Sunday. So you're going to have some variance depending on where you're at. Cooler near the lake, as always. 61 for Monday, p.m. rain showers. I think your rain really starts cranking up Monday night as we showed you. Rain likely into Tuesday, on and off Wednesday. And then we'll start to scatter things out as we make our way towards Thursday. And I think most of the rain, according to the latest models, could be out of here by Thursday. We'll have to see. These, these low pressures, they really take their good old time to get out of here. But the good news is, look at our temperatures for next week. 61, 62, 60. So when it is raining, it's not going to be bitterly cold or a real cold rain. So that's the good news. And we do drop off, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit towards Thursday, 54. I'm Forecaster Eric Post. And make sure you stay connected with us by visiting our website, neoweather.com, and interacting with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Neo Weather, Ohio's home for weather.